All right, guys, so I'm gonna try my hand at Euro nymphing today. I literally found this rod probably a few weeks back, now maybe about a month ago. I found this rod fishing, I hooked into it. Here's the footage of that. Josh is going up here. I'm gonna try right down here for a minute. Got one. Oh, I got someone else's fishing line. Come on. The hell, dude. Oh, it's a rod. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. It's a fly rod. Don't break, dude. All right, I gotta reel this up. Somebody's freaking fly rod. What the hell? Okay. Okay. Well. Dude, come on. I hope whoever lost this is okay. Okay. That was a nymphing rod because it's got it's a Eleven foot three weight, and it's got the nymphing line on it. All right, I gotta go show this to Josh. He's gonna shit. Josh was literally as we're walking down. He's telling me, "Dude, I, I really want a nymphing rod, like a three weight, like a long three weight with a fighting bot." <laughs> and then I pull this out of the water. No. I, I got something better. Wait till you see what it is. You gotta be kidding. It's a 11 foot three weight nymphing rod. <laughs> With a sage reel on it. And you found it? I hooked into it. I thought it was a fish. Holy shit, so, dude. It was a friggin' fly rod. <laughs> Someone dropped it. It looks like it hasn't been in there that long, no. so. Dude. Yeah. Somebody lost their fucking fly rod. I did post this online to see if anyone lost it. No one ever contacted me. Posted on all the Facebook groups, everything. Nobody contacted me. So it's mine now. I put a new line on it. I've rigged it up right hand retrieve and we're gonna go try to catch some fish. It's 11 foot three weight Euro nymphing rod. So let's go do it. Wow. Here's one. Come on. I gotta get him out of the current.
So yeah, I was hammering them. I'm not gonna bore you guys with the rest of the night, but got a bunch of fish on that on that uh, rod there, and continued to use it throughout um, the remainder of the fall season. Probably might even use it some more here, but even took it up to Grand Lake Stream, tried it up there. Um, got a bunch of nice salmon on that, which they put up a hell of a fight on that three weight and it was a ton of fun. Uh, what's really cool about those rods is that the bite is not visual at all. So when you're fishing a dry fly or an indicator nymph rig, the bite is visual. You can see the float go down or the fly get taken, but with the Euro or a tight line nymph rod, whatever you want to call it, you feel literally everything. You can feel your flies ticking bottom. Um, every rock, every, you know, stump or lay down, anything that that bottom fly is hitting, you can feel it because you have tension on the line. And as soon as a fish bites that, you know, and you can set the hook and it's awesome. It's so much fun. In the spring, it's going to be so much fun. Oh my God, we're just going to slam with that thing. So anyways, stick around. We've got a bunch more videos coming this fall. Thanks for watching guys. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment and we'll catch you guys in the next video.